welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to minimize and fix your buffering issues if you're experiencing any of this stuff. This works really good on Fire Sticks and it works really well on other devices. It's going to be very similar if you have a different device. This one I am going to demonstrate on a Fire Stick. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you guys are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Got some good stuff for you guys here. And here we go. This is your Fire Stick. Now, the first thing I recommend is restarting the whole thing. Now, I know some people like to do the enter and pause play button. If you hold this at the same time, this will do a power off. Your Fire TV Stick is now powering off and it's gonna reboot. Um, if you can't get to your Fire Stick, this is a good option to do because what it will do is it will restart and reset your entire Fire Stick. Now, my personal favorite, if you do have access to your Fire Stick, locate your Fire Stick and disconnect the power. Just, just disconnect the power. Leave it off for about five seconds and plug it back in. I like it. I like using that method better because I know for a flat fact that I killed the power completely and it's off. So that's step number one, something very, very easy for you to do on your own. Now, step number two, check your internet speed test. I know some people that will use their cell phones to test it out. I don't recommend doing that. What I recommend is whatever device you're on, like we're on the fire stick right now, um, you're going to want to do a speed test on the device itself. Now I'm gonna come here to the little find, I'm gonna go down to search. Now if you don't have this, you're gonna wanna get it. Um, this is a very, very important app, Downloader. I just put DO, Downloader already pops up. That's the one that you want, right there, Downloader. Now I already have it, if you don't, you wanna click it, it's gonna say get, and that's what you're gonna wanna, wanna do. Um, you're gonna wanna come here to the web browser and you're gonna get some stuff here at the top. Now, what I do is I come up here and I clear everything up to the www dot, um, and then this is how I start fresh. And where I, what I like to use is, is speedtest.net. Some people like some other ones. I hate fast.com. That's not a, a good, reliable one. Um, speedtest.net has always been my go-to and a lot of people do recommend using this one so speedtest.net go ahead and hit go and you're going to get their website now they they do have apps and stuff like that and you can use the apps built in on here that's completely fine personally i like to come here now when you do come here on the top right hand corner you can click on this little three dots so add current page to favorites and I'm gonna hit save. And the reason why I do this is because anytime I wanna do a test, this is where it's gonna be. So here we go. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go ahead and select go. And it, it's already looking at the internet that I have, which city it's gonna ping at, and it's gonna run a test. And there it goes. Now, when you are watching movies and TV shows, most first party apps, for example, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, that type of stuff, those apps only need like 25 megabytes, 30 megabytes to download 4K content, which is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna come here to favorites just to show you guys, here's the website right there, so that it, that's, that's the site. Um, if you're using third party apps, um, like Sinclair, Wade, or whatever is out there, Cinema, whatever it is out there, um, you typically want at least 100 megabytes. Um, and that includes also the live TV. When it comes to like YouTube live TV, Hulu live TV, normally 30 to 50 megabytes is recommended um, to watch in, in, in high quality in 4K. When it comes to third party stuff, they normally like to see 300 megabytes if possible. Um, 100 megabytes is pretty good. If you have 100, then you should be fine. If you have anything less, as you saw, my test was over 100, which means I can stream pretty much anything. Um, so my internet's pretty good. So just keep all those steps in mind. Now, the next one has to do with storage. Sometimes these Fire Sticks, um, you're going to upload way too many apps. Don't do that. This is not meant to load a lot of apps, just some basic apps. Um, and you should be good to go. You wanna go all the way to settings, and from here, you wanna go to where it says applications, right on, right below my head, right here, applications. 
Um, once you select this, you want to go to manage installed applications. I always recommend to have two gigs available. I have 2.3 gigs available out of the 5.34. Um, so which is good. Anything less than two gigs, then you might start experiencing some buffering issues. And the biggest reason for that is because you're running out of storage. If you need to delete stuff, if you're just like, I want to come here to manage install applications, some apps you can install, some apps you cannot. So to uninstall something, you just want to click on it. You want to check it, Alexa Shopping. I don't need Alexa Shopping, so I'm going to get rid of this thing. Are you confirming it? Yes. Now, before I do that, I want to do a clear cache and clear data because it's going to wipe it all out, uninstall it because I don't need it. Um, it's pretty small, the, the, the thing, so that's fine. Amazon Kids, I don't need that either, but notice how there isn't an uninstall option for this. Um, also for Amazon Live Shopping, there's no uninstall for this. Amazon Music, there is an uninstall for this one. So I'm going to do the same thing, clear cache, clear data. Um, some of these ones, I just don't want it on the device. So I would go through one at a time and check it be sure you are going through that now step number three since we are here since we are here to get rid of some storage i want to clear cache on some of these uh, apps um don't clear data because you might have an issue with that and i'll explain that in a second so the first thing i like to do is come here where it says sort alph alphabetically sort that out and go to app size. This will give you um, the biggest app at the top. Here's Silk Browser. Um, personally, I don't like Silk Browser, but it, it, to each their own on that one. If you go here to right below my head, you're gonna see where it says version, size, storage, and then cache. Cache says 16.3 kilobytes, which is nothing. There's nothing in that. If I wanna get rid of it, get rid of get just get rid of it um go clear cache notice now it says zero clear data anything that's in there i want it all wiped out and then uninstall and now i'm on now i have 174 megabytes extra on here which is great plex here's another one i like plex um here's freebie here's ip vanish um here's disney plus and and everything's on there provado by the way Great sale on Provado. I'll give you guys another tip on that in a second. Um, if you do have, if we're just coming here, this one says the App Store. If you come down there, it says cache 22.79 megabytes. The size of this thing is 76 megabytes. The application is only 42, and the data is 34. The cache is 22. So I'm pretty much like doubling this just on the cache alone. So what you want to do is click on this and go to clear cache now it says zero megabytes notice how the the, the date the data is still 34 applications 32 it shrunk the app a pretty good amount um don't clear data because what this does is this will delete everything off of there so for example we're going to come here to let's just say uh disney plus if i come here to disney plus and I'm just like, I want to delete cache. Cache, all it is, is it stores little bits and pieces of information of that app. So that way it opens faster, launches faster, and it displays everything faster. When you clear this cache and it shrinks it, um, all it does is when it relaunches, it's going to build that cache up again. The more you watch stuff, the more it builds up. Third-party apps are infamous on storing a lot of cache, like Cody. Clear data. Don't do this because this will delete your username and password completely. So if you have a login for something, for some kind of live TV, for Disney+, Plus, for Hulu, YouTube, whatever it is, if you clear data, it will delete all of it. So keep that in mind. If you delete all of it, it's going to get rid of all of it, and then you're going to have to re-log in like if it was a brand new app. So keep that in mind. Now, the next step is... If you're buffering on some other types of apps, so sometimes this does happen um, with third-party apps. So if you're over here, um, 
and it could be with anything. It could be with Sinclair. It could be with uh, TTV, whatever it is, cinema, um, whatever it is that you are downloading um, or watching within a third party app. Real Debrid is a really good option. I'm going to leave that in the description below. That way you guys get set up. Um, if you're using the K app, if you're using Sinclair, whatever it is that you're using, cinema, if it's any of these other apps um, and you're buffering on those, RD is actually amazing and it works great. Um, check the description below because I will leave a link in there and that way you guys can get set up and it's pretty simple. You go into whatever app it is, go to the settings, find that category, log into it with your info once you're set up and then you're good to go. Um, and then the final step, step seven, um, I have a separate video on this on, on how to set up, sign in and speed up your VPN. Um, I love Provado. Provado is the fastest in the market. It's one of the cheapest ones in the market and it works amazing. In the description below, I have a passcode for you guys to get that will get you guys some amazing stuff there. And it really does help with the buffering. Now, um, if you are experiencing buffering with your VPN, Again, check my video. I did a video on that one on how to speed up your VPN. And I will be doing a future update on, on any changes with like Provado or anything like that that they've been doing. That way you guys can see um, what's the best options for you guys. So yeah, let me know. Is there anything else I am missing? Leave me a comment below. Any steps that I'm missing, let me know. And that way we could share and help each other. Um, for me, these are my my top my top seven steps that I like to go through. I think I started with like like three steps when I originally started doing this because it's very, very simple. But as streaming has been getting bigger and more complicated, there's more steps for you to follow. So that way you could limit your buffering issues. So let me know. Leave me a comment. And yeah, you guys take care. Take care of each other and see you guys in the next one.